There you are. <laughs> Definitely for me again. All right, good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? Good My name is Sarah Bryce. I'm from Oasis Charter High School, and I am the CEO. I'm Alyssa Johnston. I'm from North Fort Myers High School, and I'm the president. I'm Valeria Zaval. I'm from Island Coast High School, and I am CFO. I'm Jadari Renee. I'm from South Fort Myers High School, and I'm the secretary. I'm Mitchell Watts. I'm from Palmetto Ridge High School, and I'm the COO. Um, I'm Tyra Golanha. I am the vice president of technology, and I attend Fort Myers High School. By a show of hands, how many of you have a dog or cat at home? Oh, Fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> now this is to be expected because according to the Humane Society, 62% of individuals in the United States have a dog or cat at home. I would say we're at about 90% in this room, which is just awesome. There's no, there's no surprise that pets are very important to all of us, our everyday lives. They're our companions. They're there for us when we come home from work or school. They're always joyful, ready to play, and it's the easiest way to make someone happy if they're having a bad day. But how many times when you're driving home from work or school, you turn the corner and you see a lost pet sign hanging on a post? And it's far too often, right? Because it's too easy for a pet to run away. What if a predator gets inside your yard, snatches your pet, your dog crawls under the fence, runs into the road and gets hit by an oncoming vehicle? Or your cat jumps over the fence and finds its way into a canal. Are you going to be able to recognize that your pet is gone in time to save them? I don't know. So what can we do? We can set up an electrical fence, but that's expensive. We can install a shock collar onto your pet, but that's going to hurt them. So the alternative is 24-7 monitoring at home by yourself. <laughs> is that practical? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think it is. <laughs> if there's a scare, you must beware and show you care. And that's what we at Companion Clip are all about. We're going to monitor your pet and alert you if something's happened so you can be in there in time to save them. Okay. In my house, our pets are like family. We consider them family. And last year, my golden retriever passed away from kidney failure. And um, if my animal were to run outside or run into a canal or fall into a canal, that would be such a devastated state for him to leave our family. And it would be so stupid. If I can monitor my pet, then it would save his life. And that's, that's family, and that's what it's all about. So I have actual articles and instances for the judges to see how this actually goes on welcome, in neighborhoods all around the U.S. And to highlight how extreme this is and detrimental and how this would affect your family. Thank you. Okay. You guys are busy, right? <laughs> like seriously, I see you guys got jobs. Come on. <laughs> You guys got kids! Like, seriously, that's like a responsibility in a circle, man. Like my PowerPoint says, 62% of households have pets. Four-legged pets, not fish. God. So now, think about it. Our target market is pretty much you guys. You guys are always busy. And, you, and think about this. Having a pet is an extra responsibility and stress on your back. That's so much. Let's get that lift off your back and make you jump. So let's do it. <laughs> Pretty much that you, as a market, more people will get this because you guys want this. <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> Starting off on Monday, we knew we wanted to work with pets and working on pet safety. So I went to Pet Supermarket and I interviewed a few employees. Their names were Tyrone and Nato, and they're both loving pet owners. And as you see, Tyrone is 22, and he says, My biggest fear is a coyote getting my little Shih Tzu. I have never seen a grown man get so emotional over his little dog. <laughs> it was wonderful. He was so welcoming, and he said that he would pay for this service in a heartbeat. Nato was the same way, saying his cat wears a reflective collar, but he'd love to be alerted if she escapes. Because all of my cat owners here, we know, you they're here one minute, what, what are they doing? They're behind the bed. They're in a linen cupboard. We have no way of keeping track, and are they in a cupboard? Are they out on the street somewhere? And that's what our service would help to prevent. 
I also spoke with my aunt, her name is Karen, she's six years old, and she said an alarm would be perfect if they decide to wander, and I'm not paying attention. Our competitors are Pod Trackers, Whistler, and uh, Tags. What, what separates us from the other companies is, as you can see, the X's are the X's represent what each company has, and the blank spots represent what each company does not have. What separates us is that we have emergency contact, we have um, no monthly charge, and we have uh, text alerts on our phone that notify us if our pet uh, like gets out of our boundaries. So how does the companion clip work? It's a little machine that you clip onto your pet's existing collar, and the location services enable us to go onto an app that you will install on your phone. When you get the app, you're going to set up two things. You're going to set up the boundaries and your emergency contact. So the location services on our phone linked to the chip that are on the collar are going to allow you to walk the literal boundary where you don't want your pet to pass. So whether that's your yard or your actual home. You're also going to set up an emergency contact and how the companion clip utilizes this is if you're at work, school, or on vacation, and you get an alert that something has happened to your pet, you're going to be able to contact your emergency contact. This could be a neighbor or a friend that you know will come to your pet's rescue. In the beginning, due to limited funding, our marketing campaign will consist of social media such as Facebook. And we have limited budgeted funding, so once our uh, sales increase, we will raise the budget limit. And we will also give out handouts to places such as Petco, PetSmart, <coughs> Humane Society, and other pet related places. And we will also set up a referral incentive for uh, pet related service providers. I have some financial statements for the judges. about $102,000. And from the owners ourselves, we will provide at least $32,000. And for the investors, we would like $70,000. So if you would like to invest in us, please do. Think about it. <laughs> there are two types of ways that we're selling this product. First of all, our website. We have our own website that we will be selling our product from. And by month three, we'll be in at least two boutique pet stores. So our first year sales will be around $125,000. And our net profit will be $46,000. Our gross margins are blended 54% due to our website versus boutique sales. <laughs> for all you good looking people who thank you for coming and looking at us, you know? It's great that you guys are listening because sometimes people don't want to listen to me. I think I got yeah, too much, maybe. And like our company say, if there is a scare, you must beware and show you care. That got a ring on it. Repeat after me. If there is a scare, you must beware and show you care. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Nice job. Thank you. This guy scares me. <laughs> you talked about a singing. I Wednesday and spent some time with you about selling with passion. You got the message. <laughs>